Hello friends, welcome to the machine tool design community. Today in this video, I am planning to cover the topics that is land and angular clearance. These two concepts are very crucial while designing a blanking tool or any type of piercing tool. Okay, so whenever you are designing a blanking tool or any type of cutting tool, this concept that is land and angular clearance will come into account. So if the land and angular clearance is perfectly designed, there will be not the, 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 pro, the cutting problem will reduce to minimal. Okay, so I will just start with the land first. Okay, so guys if take an example if we are planning to cut a blank that is dia 20 mm okay so dia 20 mm so I, I need to cut the walls if for cutting the walls i need to give the opening of dia 20 mm in the die so if i give directly dia 20 mm hole here with the straight after like this time will cut the blank but after some point the slug will start plugging here so after some time we will not be able to remove the die or the, or the blank from the die and then uh, this die will got stuck so in order to in order to give this a slug a proper clearance we give here this part portion a land and then we give angular clearance okay so if this is a land so we are, we can give for some portion we can give land that is cutting area of the die and then below we can just give a relief angular clearance is basically a relief so I will just cover this in the later part of the video angular clearance. First we will go with the land. What is the land? The straight wall in the die is called as land. That is the inner wall where the cutting area is there is we, we can call this as a land. Okay. As black is the black or the slug that is land to get jam inside the die opening. This may lead to the breakage of the punch or die so if if i if you see that if the if this blank get clubbed in here and after you are pressing again with the help of press with the full pressure then there will be a breakage at this portion of the die and there will be a directly cut or something there will be a breakage of that die and then you have to replace the die insert again and again so the basic formula i will say that land equal to 3 mm for the sheet thickness less than 3 mm. So take an example, if I am using 1 mm sheet. So for 1 mm sheet, I will use 3 mm land. So up till 3 mm sheet thickness, we will be using 3 mm land. So like if I am having a 1 mm sheet, 1 mm sheet, so 3 sheets will be, uh, that is 3 blanks will be able to stuck in the die opening and then it will press after the angular uh, clearance it will just go off so maximum we can have a 3 mm uh, sheet thickness we can have one blank so there will be no clogging of the die now above sheet thickness 3 mm where the cutting force is very high okay so we can use like take an example if the 4 mm sheet thickness is there So we can use 4 mm land and same as there like 5 mm so there, there can be sheet thickness of like 10 mm or 12 mm so you have to give a land of 10 to 12 mm according to the sheet thickness. So remember the general formula for design of press tool that is the blanking tool and piercing tool that for 1 mm sheet thickness is a 3 mm land is equal to 3 mm. And sheet thickness above 3 mm, land is equal to the sheet thickness used. Now let's go, let's talk about angular clearance in the die opening. Okay, so angular clearance 
is a relief. So take an example again. I am using uh, I am blanking the dia twenty round from a die. So if I need to relieve the the angular clearance diameter should be greater than that. So if I relieve the angle at the bottom, this can be um, act as a good relief and the basic function of this angular clearance is to clear the die that is not uh, to clear the slug or the blank from the die so so if i see a an uh, angular clearance here basically we can use the general formula that is 1.5 degree per side if if we give the 1.5 degree per side that is enough to clear the slug because slug will not shut anywhere and it will get relief after the die opening. So if soft material requires greater clearance than hard materials. Now what is the soft materials? Like there are two types of sheet that is in, in mild steel that is CRCA and HRCA. So HRCA is hard and CRCA is soft. So we can use some more uh, die clearances, greater clearances in CRCA uh, than HRCA. But and then if uh, if there is a silicon, stainless steel and aluminium for these material, no line is provided. So if you see, uh, this is the die opening, say dia, dia, dia 20. So there will be no line and directly angular clearance will, will start from the cutting edge. The reason is these materials are abrasive in nature and they tend to bell mount the die opening. In basic words, they distort the die opening. That is the cutting edge will get distorted here and then your die life will reduce. So you have to provide direct, uh, uh, angular clearance. Maybe you can put like 1.5 per side here, degree per side here, but you have to start from the cutting edge itself. Then we have one more design element that is called as die width ejector. This die width ejector can be used when the press has ejector cushions one or we can we can add some different type of element uh, in the die itself that is mechanism with the spring. So if you see this is the base okay this is our die opening this is our die opening okay now what I have done is I have added one ejector with uh, with with ejector screw and then that ejector screw is locked with the help of spring so when when i will cut the blank here this will go down this will go down and then with the help of spring again the blank will be ejected at the top so there in uh, as you see as you see in our previous angular clearance or previous design the slug was or the blank was ejecting at the bottom that is it will fall down but here it will go above and then the operator or robot can pick it up from there so this is a mechanism where you don't want to use a die with angular clearance or the land so we can use this type of design where you don't want to use a, a land and also you uh, there is a cushion or some kind of mechanism available in your press so guys always think always ask the question to the manufacturer whenever you are trying to design the die the first thing you have to ask is the part drawing of the um, part drawing of the element and the press specification.